Another year of Houston Athletics has arrived. Fall sports right around the corner, hard to believe, but here we are. I'm John McAfoos, joined by head soccer coach Jaime Frias. Coach, I appreciate you taking the time, and now you're going into your third season with this program. We saw some improvement last year. You guys got off to the best start in program history with that 6-0-1 start. As you look ahead to your third season, how do you continue to push this program in the direction that you want it to go? Well, thank you for having me, first of all, John. We really appreciate you and your support. Um, I think what we want to do is continue to have a, a great start like we did last year, continue to push the envelope as far as our success is concerned. And how that translates now into this year is uh, potentially can we get more results against Big 12 opponents. And so that's what we're pushing for, that's what we're preparing for. A lot of new faces on your roster this year, 11 in total, four transfers and seven freshmen. Who are a couple names that Cougar fans should be on the lookout for? Well, I, I don't know if I can keep them all straight. There's been so many of them here throughout the last two years. But I think some of them that, that stand out in particular is we're going to have Bree Hilson Tanger back, actually. She redshirted last year, and we have her back. We're really excited. She's trans she transferred in from Pitt, so she's got a lot of real big-time game experience. We have uh, Jocelyn Alonso, which won many championships and made runs in the NCAA at the University of Memphis. We have her here with a lot of experience, and a lot of the one with great experiences is both of our LSU players, which is Laney and Jordan Johnson, Laney Gonzalez. I think they've played in really big matches. They're used to the competitiveness of, of some of the top leagues in the country as far as collegiate soccer is concerned, having participated in the SEC. And so we're just so happy that they're going to play for our team with that kind of experience and help us push our program along. A lot of big returners as well. Let's talk a little bit about Ariana Jimison. Had a fantastic freshman season. She was on the all-freshman team for the Big 12, and now she's on the preseason all-Big 12 team this year. How do you see her taking another jump here in her sophomore year? Yeah, Ari's a really good piece of clay is what we call her. You can really mold her into something special. Um, she's got a real good knack for scoring, super competitive, a cerebral player, good technique, and combine well with others. So we're hoping that we can continue to enhance her abilities on the ball, off the ball, increase her fitness level so we can keep her on the field a little bit longer so she can impact our program just as much if not more uh, this upcoming year. A lot of leadership in that senior class as well. You have two captains this year, Alexis Folks and Sophia Weber. What do they bring from a leadership aspect? Uh, they bring maturity and consistency. I think they have this team first mentality. They're such selfless leaders and so they always think about the group first. They hold really high standards for themselves and others which I think really helps shape our culture and what we're trying to build here. Coach, one great story on your team is Kate Burgess. She's had three knee surgeries. She hasn't played since 2021, but she is healthy now. She's gotten some minutes in your exhibition matches. Just talk a little bit about her resilience and being, being able to watch her battle through and now be healthy on your team this year. I think Kate is the definition of grit. If you define grit as persistency to, for your long-term goals, she has not wavered. And so as you just mentioned, she's had three knee surgeries and any other any other player would have had enough excuses to say, you know what, I'm going to move on, focus on my academics and not play the sport that I love. But for Kate, it just means so much. It shows a lot of the competitor that she is, uh, the mental strength that she has to continue to persevere, and just, just the kind of leader that she is as well. I think a lot of people don't know how big of a leader she is in our locker room. She's a big voice and a big reason why our program, if we find any success, is going to be a big part because of her. You've got a pair of sisters on your team this year, too, now with Cameron and Casey Maddox. Have you had a pair of sisters ever in your coaching career? No, I haven't. This is the first time around. I love it. And so I think one thing that you see with Casey and Cam is the connection that they have with each other on the field. The connection they have off the field, you can see on the field as well. And so that's brilliant. I think they know each other's movements. They're really in sync and in tune with each other. And they're two really good players on top of that. So we really enjoy them having them on our team. I want to mention one of your assistant coaches because Fleur Benatar had a pretty awesome offseason. She got to spend some time with Team USA with the under 16s coaching, and she was also promoted to, to be your associate head coach. Right. Talk about the impact that she makes in your program. Uh, Fleur is such an important part of our program. She is another head coach to us. I think she's been rightfully so recognized as being our associate head coach this year, and she's now added on international experience to her resume. I think the lessons that she's bringing back to our team from those experiences is only going to benefit us. And so Fleur's uh, competitive fire, knowledge of the game, and selfless will to push our team along um, is going to push our program forward and really influence our culture as well. Second year in the Big 12, and it's once again a little bit of a new look Big 12. Texas and Oklahoma are out, and now you bring in Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, Utah. 
Talk a little bit about it from the, the soccer perspective. What do you expect to see out of the conference in soccer this year? Uh, one of the toughest leagues in the country, for sure, especially with the addition of the new teams. It's just anyone can beat anyone at this level. And I think uh, you have to show up. You have to be, I think the most successful teams within our league are the most uh, consistent teams within our league. So we're trying to find more consistency in our performance that will allow us to win more games. And so the teams that are going to be able to do that um, are the teams that are going to be a little bit more experienced. Some of the veteran teams that have more of a veteran roster, I think will give you a better chance to be successful in this league. Coach, I appreciate your time. We're looking forward to the season. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate you. All right.